My name is Jason White, and I wanted to spend a moment talking about the field EMS bill, which is some federal legislation in the United States Congress in Washington, D.C. That legislation has been around for two or three years now. In recently, it's, it's gotten 34 co-sponsors in the Congress. It's got three co-sponsors in the Senate, and it was recently filed in the United States Senate. Both of those are measures to show that the idea is getting some acceptance within the, the realm of legislators and is showing some opportunity to move forward, find a hearing, and be fully vetted and potentially move forward to become law. The field EMS bill is, is a really cool little piece of legislation because it has the opportunity to start a grant program. And many people are familiar with the fire service grant program that has been very successful in providing funding support for many of those items that fire departments, especially smaller fire departments, need and yet don't have the necessary resources to purchase. The dream is that the field EMS bill would provide a starter grant program that could grow into something of the same size and positive implications that the f uh, fire service uh, grant program has. Uh, the funding would, would go out to local services. It would also support innovation grants and research, things that EMS desperately needs as, as we try to guide it forward. There are issues that are create controversy in the field EMS bill. Currently, the bill is supported on the national level by a whole group of national EMS groups, but it does not have the support of the fire chiefs or the, the fire unions. The discussion there is around the home of where EMS ought to be in the federal bureaucracy. Currently, the EMS agency, when you look for it in the federal government, is found in the nation. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the U.S. Department of Transportation. And that's really a point of history. We started because of car wrecks and trying to save people that were dying on the roads needlessly after their car wrecks. So we've been there at NHTSA for, for the history of EMS. This legislation would compile, it would still leave an office there at NHTSA, but it would compile much of the, the odds and ends EMS organizations and form one EMS group within the Department of Health and Human Services. The fire service would like to see the, this agency in the Department of Homeland Safety, Homeland Security, debate that's gone on for, for the, the life of EMS in the community. But the important thing to keep in mind as you consider your endorsement uh, or engagement with the legislation is the importance of getting the grant program started and the recognition that these kinds of pieces of legislation go through a negotiation process that goes forward and we hope that, that the discussion within the EMS community can be resolved as we all come together to move this important legislation. Currently endorsed and has been f since the early days by the Kansas EMS Association. If you're interested in learning more about the field EMS bill, go to the KEMSA website, go to resources, and find your way to national legislation. That will take you to the National Association of EMTs website that stays up to date on background on this legislation. You can get a full exact reading of it. There's also an opportunity there to use the Engage program that allows you to, in about 30 seconds, send a, a, an email to your federal congressperson or your, and, and or your uh, U.S. senators uh, endorsing the legislation.